I got into some trouble on eBay and got an email that said my account was suspended for three days. Let's get into it. Okay, so that was kind of clickbaity of me to say, but I did get an email that said that, and as I looked into it further, it was more like a warning. Uh, what happened was I sold a, you guys saw that Porsche hat that I sold. Well, turns out it was bootleg, it was not official Porsche, and Porsche emailed eBay and got me in trouble. And that's within their rights to do. I didn't realize it wasn't authentic, and it was like 20 years old, so my bad. Anyway, I got this email that says, uh, in the future, anything will be removed. I'll put it up here so you can see it. And then it said, in addition, your account will be suspended for three days. And I read it, and I read it two or three times, and I'm like, so does the in the future apply to the suspended for three days or not? And, uh... I guess it didn't because I spent the rest of the day listing new items and I sold a handful of things and uh, evidently it's just in the future. So let's talk about Vero for a minute. So it's V-E-R-O, but it's Verified Rights Owner and people call it Vero. Um, it basically means that Porsche has the right to decide who has the right to use their logo and that was bootleg and I wasn't allowed to sell it. It's basically intellectual property and copyright stuff. And when I read it, I was like, oh no, am I banned for three days? And turns out I wasn't. But um, watch out for stuff like that. You can get in trouble for selling bootleg stuff. Um, also, I did, I packed a couple of things for shipping today before I got a chance to show them to you guys. Uh, so this sold, it. you guys were with me when I picked it up. Uh, it was a, it's, some computer thing. I don't know. It was new in package. I paid $4 for it and sold for $29.99. So I don't, I, to be honest, I don't even know what it is exactly, but I knew new in package, uh, electronics are worth scanning anyway. Um, uh, and then this old Cubs t-shirt that I've had for a while. Um, I had it listed for $17.99. This guy sent me an offer for $12.99 and I was like, yeah, it's close enough. I know I have a dollar or perhaps less, because that one might have been one that I got uh, somebody found at a thrift store and said, Tom would like that. Um, so um, so those both went out already today, and then we got a handful of more sales too. All right, guys, well, welcome to the storeroom. Um, Handful of sales today, uh, $130 in just five items. So that's pretty good. Um, first up, we got this Sony remote. I picked it up for 50 cents the other day. You guys were with me. Tested it, and it uh, worked fine, and it sold for $15.99 free shipping. Got this. I got this for $2.99 the other day. It was uh, at Goodwill, um, and it... Sold for $15 even. I had it for $19.99 free shipping. I got an offer of $15 free shipping. And it's going to go first class. And I'm fine with $15. Sold this. Uh, we talked a lot about this, I think, already. This uh, Arizona sweatshirt. It is uh, Cliff Angle. So I had it for $39.99. It's and got an offer for $30 free shipping. Or, yeah, $30 free shipping. And that's, I paid a dollar for this like two years ago and forgot that I owned it, found it the other day and uh, listed it. So that sold pretty quick and has basically found money once I've owned it that long. These lucky jeans, you guys were with me when I picked them up for, um, for $4.99 at Goodwill the other day. And they sold pretty darn quick, like, like less than 24 hours. They sold for um, $19.99 free shipping. I think these 18, what are these eight one eighty ones? Well, are lower end than a lot of the lucky ones that I normally buy that are 40 bucks. I hadn't heard of this 181, 181 relaxed straight denim. They're, they're just not as high end or not as desirable. So the comps were like 24, 25 bucks. So I listed them for 20 to, uh, 
and get them to move quick. And that's what happened. And the last thing that sold, I bought a sink at a garage sale, a big cast iron sink. And I ended up taking the uh, parts off of it and scrap it. I put the sink out for scrap, but then my brother's wife picked it up and made it a flower uh, pot. So anyway, um, I'll, I won't bother. It's in this FedEx box right here. Uh, and I'm not going to pick it up and take it apart, but I will scroll the pictures across so you can see. It's just an old, um, an old style sink faucet, and it's got all the parts so that it's ready to install, but they're old, and if you're restoring something, this is going to need a little more restoration, but it should uh, work out well for whoever. And I had it listed for $150, and then I went to $99, and then I went to $75, and then somebody sent me an offer of $40, and I'm like, $40 plus shipping. So they paid $25 shipping. So they're all in it, almost $70. And I think that's more than fair for something that I spent $5 on, and, um, and they're going to have to do some work when they get it. So that's where we're at today. ship.com and I have this package that is 12 or no 12 by uh, 12 by 8 by 4 and it weighs 7 pounds and I put it in on eBay's system and sure enough it cost $28.95 and I got about a 20% discount from eBay, <clears throat> but when I go to PirateShip.com, I can print the exact same label for USPS for eleven fifty eight. So, um, if you have large stuff to ship, or if you have heavy stuff to ship that's small, Pirate Ship is the way to go. All right, so I have like an hour before my wife's got some company coming over. There are three thrift stores that I uh, can hit kind of all right by each other. So we're going to give that a shot. So this is a place called All My Stuff. And it has, I think she just has like a Facebook. Uh, I'll take your, I'll clean up your yard sale um, leftovers. And so she has this store. And everything's pretty cheap, um, and I didn't find much today. I actually brought her some stuff because I was out. Of, I was going through listing, and I was like, "Ah, this isn't worth my time. That's not worth my time." So I brought her a handful of stuff, and she sold me eight of these in a bag, like a bag full that has eight of these fan controls. I don't know what they're worth. Uh, let's find out together. One eternity later. But she sold them to me for, um, she said $3, and I was like, I was going to say 5 so I gave her 5 because I'm going to make money. Each of them's worth more than 5 bucks. And so, All right, so uh, we're moving on to Habitat for Humanity. Uh, I'll probably bring you guys inside with me and see uh, if we can find anything good. So this is what they do sometimes with their new incoming stuff. They just pull it off a truck and throw the boxes. It's the way that they come in the floor. So I'm gonna dig a little bit and see if this looks like it's worth digging through. Man, I am not any good at this. I missed some of the stuff at the last place and the video I thought I got just now. Um, it is recording. Okay, so we're gonna go in here. That's our last chance to make some money today. It's the church mouse. So 
I don't know what red tag means, but I'm gonna look those up because those are cool. There it is, red, a dollar a piece. Embroidered San Antonio on a lower, and it's a single stitch. That's a $20, $25 shirt, I suspect. Tim McGraw Faith Hill. Um, that's in really nice shape. And it's a 2006 tour shirt. And then this one. we'll have to see how much this uh, Brewers Logo Athletics jacket is. I feel like there's a lot of these moments where you guys are just listening to me breathe unless I edit it out. But it's because I'm wearing a mask and it's a lot louder when you breathe. All right, first question is this hat. I've had this hat since 1996. It's fallen apart. I know. It's okay. Uh, I thought I did a good job of recording everything, um, but then it was sunny and I couldn't see, and so some of it I was taking up. I took a picture instead of taking a video, and I didn't know. So I missed out on that. So we're going to... Um, I'm just going to go real quick over everything uh, on the table. Okay, so first up is these Blaze of the Monster Machines. I paid 75 cents for both of them in a bag. Commonwealth Picker, Kevin, told me I need to be looking out for those. Um, surprises me quite a bit, but this guy comps at like $13, $14, and this guy comps at $20. So that's my whole day back for 75 cents. These, I'm a, like I say, I'm a sucker for anything new old stock. I could not find anything close to this. These are just empty. Uh, VHS cases and they are sealed together in a three pack. Somebody was asking 50 cents. They got donated to the Habitat for Humanity store. I think I paid four dollars for everything at the Habitat, so I'm like 50 cents into these probably. Um, I suspect it's ten dollars plus uh, shipping, but I can't find a comp. Uh, these I got, these are Sanyo. I mean, I think they're probably worth. 10 bucks if they are if I don't have a Walkman to add them to um, but if 50 cents into those probably as well another 50 cent yeah. item another 50 cent item is um, this Microsoft mouse um, it is the 1.2 version of the uh, IntelliMouse, so it's uh, old, and it's like 10 bucks, including shipping. But for 50 cents, that's look at this. If this is, I paid 50 cents a piece for these, so my buy-in's a dollar fifty, and my return is like six bucks an item, and they're going to be super easy to work with all of them. So that's 18 dollars on my dollar fifty investment. Easy, breezy, beautiful. Um, I want to be like my little brother when I grow up. My little brother, who is my twin, so he's little by nine minutes. Uh, and so I try to I try to get weird VHS tapes because he does well with them. This one, there was one comp for $125, but then there's ones that didn't sell for $2.99. So I didn't comp these. I just said, those are weird looking. I'm going to try them. Mrs. Patty Cake, or Miss Patty Cake, garbage. This uh, Golden Book one is junk but i think this mac and me might be worth something i didn't actually actually do comps on this one yet so i'll put them up now um you guys were with or i showed you these fans i ended up with nine of these fan controllers new in the package they've got the little dial thing that goes on the front up here wound into the wires i found where you could buy these new for 15 dollars on a like electrician website so i'll probably do 9.99 free shipping but I've got nine of them. I picked $3 for all of them. Um, this helmet comes for like 50 bucks. This isn't a smudge, it's a sticker. 
I, when I saw it on the camera, I thought it was a, a defect. Uh, it comes for like 50 bucks if it has the visor still on it. But as you can see, there's a hole here that I didn't notice, a hole there that I didn't notice, and then a corresponding hole here. And so this is more like $20, $25, but it's light enough. I suspect it's going to ship first class for $25, and I'm $0.50 cents into that. Um, this jacket, uh, Milwaukee Brewers, it's a 2X windbreaker. I'll... The comps were at like 40 bucks, but the right pocket on the inside is destroyed. And so I'll probably do like $19.99 and see if somebody will take it for it that way. This Tim McGraw and Faith Hill tour t shirt I thought was mint condition, but whoever owned it cut the tag out of it. There's no tag. Um, it's probably a medium. I'll have to measure it and guess, but still, it's it, even like that. It's probably a ten or twelve dollar T-shirt, and then this one is. And I paid a dollar for that shirt and this shirt. This allure tag is not one you see very often. This is a single stitch and a custom embroidery for San Antonio. This is probably a twenty dollar shirt. Um, just guessing, or that's where I'm going to list it. So that was my day. No big home runs but no huge disappointments either. I'm gonna make some money, um, and I'm glad you guys are coming along with me buying stuff. Okay, so Joe Camel hat, Velcro, or not Velcro, corduroy, snapback. Very cool old hat, um, but the bill is so dusty. This is probably new old stock and has never been worn. Uh, and just sat and collected dust. <clears throat> so here's what we're gonna do. Okay, so I'm gonna do this one-handed. I took some tape and just wrapped it around my fingers like this, and then you kind of just wipe on it and see how much dust it's already collected. And I'll just do that 10 or 15 times. I'll just kind of do this spot right here. And it is collecting and you go both directions and you kind of in and out as opposed to just back and forth. And so I'll give you a before shot and then we'll, uh, we'll look at the after. And so after two pieces of tape, does it look better? All right, guys, well, that's going to do it for the video for today. Uh, leave a comment, click like subscribe if you're not already subscribed um yeah it's a good time